everybody and welcome back. For you today, I have a combined Dollarama and Walmart haul. Now, I purchased the items from Dollarama earlier this week. It's a Dollarama that's very close to my work and I went on my lunch hour and I just received some groceries from Walmart right now. So without further ado, I'm gonna start with these oven mitts. These oven mitts were $3. And I believe these oven mitts are an Orla Kiley knockoff or Orla Kiley inspired at the very least. If you don't know who Orla Kiley is, she's an Irish born designer. You can Google her. She's famous, in my opinion, for her patterns. Now, the reason I think it's an Orla Kiley knockoff or inspired by her at the very least is this shopping bag from Tesco. Now, this is not a part of the haul. But this is my Tesco shopping bag. I also purchased another one. If you don't know anything about Tesco, Tesco is a grocery chain that is located in the United Kingdom and Ireland. So, do you think these oven mitts are an Orla Kylie knockoff or what? Anyway, let me get rid of the shopping bag and continue with the haul. Here is a bottle brush and straw brush combination. I don't really use straws, but my current bottle brush is shot. For $3, I'm gonna try this, okay? Let's see what else we have. I purchased for $4 a small set of Betty Crocker tongs. Another item I picked up is this paring knife. $3 and it's by Rama Design, okay? My current paring knife is kind of old and worn out, I'd like to either replace it or add to what I have. $3 isn't bad. I purchased two Panatone, okay? And let's see how much these were. Ah, yes, they were $1.50 each. So in Canada, you know, Dollarama items, <laughs> most items are not a dollar, okay? So $1.50. I also purchased a set of microfiber cloths. You know, I'm always adding to kitchen cloths and cleaning cloths. You know, they get worn out and stained and such. This really nice expandable colander. Okay, that was $4. I thought I would give it a try. I have one large colander and a bunch of strainers and often when I go to use the large colander it's in the dishwasher so I thought I would add to my collection of colanders. Now another kitchen item is anytime I go into Dollarama I purchase canning lids. Okay so Bernardin packages regular mouth snap lids for Dollarama. As you see on the package, $2 each. Okay. Then I purchased five to add to my collection of single use snap lids for canning. So I thought I would insert this photo. This is the amount of regular mouth canning lids that Dollarama had in stock when I visited. It seems they have a lot of stock. Unfortunately though, Dollarama does not stock wide mouth. Now, I'm just gonna move these back. Okay. The next item I wanted to show you was this bubble bath. I have used this before. I really like it. It's 1.4 liters and let's see how much it was. It was $3, okay? So I've almost run out, and now I have more. There goes a motorcycle in my neighborhood. The next item is this Zen 2021 calendar. Okay, Zen, a year of inspiration. Well, let's hope it is. Let's hope it's not the quote unquote sugar show that 2020 was. 
Um, I have tried over the years day timers. Okay, here, let's just. Um... Oh, I've purchased many day timers over the years, and it took me a long time to realize day timers don't work for me. I need a month at a glance. So I will not be buying the $30 day timer this year. I have chosen to purchase the $1.25 calendar at Dollarama. The last item from Dollarama is this very pretty light green storage basket. I paid $2.50. Okay, I have a specific use for this. I have a lot of clutter by my entrance and I'm gonna use this too organize that clutter. So let's move on to the Walmart portion of this video. The first item from the Walmart grocery haul that I'm going to show you is this 1.4 liter of kombucha. Okay now for years I made my own kombucha but I've stopped making my own kombucha because I just lost interest in making it. I didn't lose interest in consuming it. So I figured I can purchase it every couple of weeks or so. What I do with kombucha, I put it in my smoothie in the morning, okay? This 1.4 liter of kombucha was $9.97. The next item are the Grey Ridge Family Pack of 18 extra large size eggs. And these were $5.17. The next item is an English cucumber. And that English cucumber was $1.27. You've seen me haul that multiple times, okay? I use these in salads that I bring to work. The next item is Chapman's Yukon ice cream cones and there are five in that box and that box was five dollars and thirty seven cents. Chapman's is a Canadian brand. Okay, you won't see Chapman's in the US. Orange juice with pulp. It's by Simply Orange. Okay, that is 2.63 liters. Let me just move the camera slightly. 2.63 liters and it was $4.97. I don't know if you have Apatina in the United States, but we have this in Canada. It is feta cheese. Let me bring it a little closer. So it's feta cheese that is already cubed and it sits in a brine in a basket. And anytime you want some, you just lift the basket out of the brine and you take it out. I use this in my lunches for work. I will bring this to work with me on Monday. And that Apatina feta cheese was $5.97. It's 200 grams of feta cheese. I also purchased great value sour cream. The Great Value Sour Cream was $1.87 and it's 500 ml. The next items are a bag of four avocados. That bag was $4.97. The app allows you to order any amount of bananas you want. I ordered five bananas, but I got six and that's okay. This has happened before and it's not a big deal. I think I'm just gonna order a bunch next time, but they're prompting you to order a bunch of organic bananas. And that's why I keep ordering single. So I kind of know when I order bananas, I'm probably gonna get more than I asked for. And I order them with full knowledge of that. Okay, so those were $1.23 a kilogram. Now, if you were to buy single bananas, which he probably couldn't find, and I'm okay with that. Single bananas are 23 cents each. I ordered two packages of great value traditional crumpets. They were $1.97 a pack. They're a package of six and we enjoy them in this household. Okay, they're not gonna last long, that's for sure. 
one green pepper cost me 74 cents. A red pepper, and the red pepper was a little more expensive. The red pepper was $1.32. Okay, a bag of yellow onions cost me $1.97. That's a nice quantity in that bag. I'm very pleased with that. And last but not least, these are the Wild Wonder tomatoes and they were $4.97. There we go. I hope you liked my haul and if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I hope you enjoy your Saturday. Thank you for watching.